Hello, Carlton and Meredith. Greetings from Toronto. How are you both doing today? Hi, Bonnie. You're doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. First of all, I binged the entire season two. I loved it. Oh my gosh, it was even better than season one. I really love this series. And Carlton, let's start with you. First of all, thank you for, for shooting it in Canada. We do appreciate that big time. But what is it about this series that, you know, I, I know it, it comes from Joe Hill's comic, and but it just to see this vibrant show on television, why are we connecting with it? You know, I think particularly at this moment in time, in the middle of the pandemic, it's just a, it's really a fun show. And I think that if you want to just relax, escape, uh, be entertained, uh, be thrilled, be chilled, um, see some fantasy, see some horror, see some teen drama, see some family drama. I mean, yeah. there's kind of a lot of elements that go into the cocktail of the show that Meredith and I make together. And you know, we work really hard on trying to kind of keep it compelling and entertaining. And I think, you know, that's just the kind of kind of show that I think we would want to watch after a hard day. And um, that, you know, with a set of characters who we really love and want to follow and find out what happens next to them. Absolutely. And Meredith, what really is at the core is the family. And boy, have you ever hit the jackpot with these actors? I truly feel like this is my family and that they're not faking it. Tell me a little bit about working with this cast, in particular, the actors that play this family, because they really do make it. Well, it, it, they aren't faking it. They absolutely, <laughs> they love each other off screen. When the cameras stop rolling, I promise you, they are just as close in real life. And, you know, particularly over this last year and a half where everyone's been a bit bubbled together, um, you know, they've, they've just grown even closer. And so I really think that that translates on screen. And I'm happy to hear you say that you feel that because we certainly do as well, um, that they just have such a great dynamic together. Um, and, you know, I think that that just makes for a, a richer show because you really do believe that family. Oh, there's no question about it. And Carlton, you know, it's funny because I, you know, I, I've known Connor for so many years here from Toronto. Amelia is just beyond talented. She's, you know, Coda. I mean, come on, that girl is, is uh, out of control. But then you've got this Jackson Robert Scott as Bodie. I tell you, there with the scenes with him and Darby this season, I was bawling being a mom. Tell me a little bit about working with these kids. I mean, come on, their jackpot is beyond words. I mean, we really, we got incredibly lucky. Uh... Kudos to April Webster, our casting director, who helped put this cast together initially. Amelia's, you know, on a rocket ship ride. She's going to be a huge movie star. I mean, she really already is. Um, there's just more great stuff to come. Connor is such a fine actor and such a thoughtful, kind, and sort of wonderful and deep individual. And Jackson is just this precocious talent. I mean, he... Yeah. He has no business being as talented as he is as a 13 year old. And, you know, he's been doing the show since he was eight years old. And it's, right. just, um, it's just, it's been an incredible part of the journey. And it's just, what's really fun is, is that we can, sometimes as showrunners and writers, you have to write defensively. You find limitations in your actors and you have to kind of avoid those things when you write stuff. I mean, no holds barred with these kids. We can write anything, they can deliver anything. Um, sometimes I feel like we're not up to the task of giving them stuff that's good enough for who they are. They're just, they're just extraordinary. And I think that was probably the most rewarding part of making this season and season three was just, you know, seeing what they would do with the stuff that we came up with for them. Yeah, and, and Meredith, as we, yes, as we do know, we, we will get a season three, so I'm so excited for that already. But, um, you know, going forward, what, what, was there a major challenge just to keep stepping it up for the next season? I mean, it's always a challenge that you want to kind of outdo, you know, outdo yourself uh, yeah. in the previous season. But I think for us, for leaning into season two, it just was inherent in just the cliffhanger of, yeah. oh my yeah. God, Dodge is Gabe and has been this entire season. And in fact, Kinsey has no idea uh, yeah. that she's been dating this their, their mortal enemy this whole time. So I think right there, we already had the stakes as heightened as, as, you know, as possible. And so we really just leaned into that and kind of turned up the dial in every way. Um, and so I, I, I think that, that that's why season two is just feels a bit more mature, a bit richer, um, and that we, you know, we're kind of leaning into those elements. 
Yeah, it's it's brilliant. It really is good. I had such a great time watching it. Thank you so much. And Carlton, just as a, for, to wrap it up, I do personally have to thank you for Lost, one of my all time favorite television series that I did watch every week with my kids, which people can do with Lock and Key. So thank you, thank you to both of you for, for everything. I appreciate it. Thanks so much, Bonnie. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> all right, thank you, Bonnie. I'm going to move you back.